Hello Anna. First of all, I'd just like to thank you for going to the effort of making this kind of um, giving everybody an opportunity to voice their opinions. You know, I'm 57 years old now. I'm a father and a grandfather. And um, my seven year old granddaughter has asked me three times now, you know, granddad, do you think this is the end of the world? And obviously, you know, I reassure and say, no, you know, we, things are just changing and there's nothing to worry about. But she's not in school and she's uh, spending, she's an only child, so she spends most of the time on her own. And um, it's really concerning me because I'm an ex-professional soldier. I served 15 years and as a 17 year old boy, I honestly thought it was a noble profession. And then it took me 10 years to realize that we, NATO are the biggest terrorists on the planet. They're the ones that cause more devastation and destruction, ruin people's lives and countries and infrastructure and everything like that. But 30 years ago, I was based in Bavaria as a rock climbing instructor. And um, my regiment was going to the Gulf. So all the other lads had their injections before me and Weeks later, when I had mine, after the first one, I had an anti-anthrax injection, and it caused my head to swell up. All in the only you could see slits for eyes. I couldn't bend my fingers. Um, I couldn't turn my head, and I felt like I was going to explode. I'd gone red hot, broke out in blisters, and I decided to go in the shower to cool myself off. The next minute, I find myself in the medical center, and they was looking at my body with a magnifying glass telling me that I'd been stung by an insect. They, they thought that, you know, some egg or something had hatched on somebody's equipment because cause it was November in Germany and there was snow outside on the ground. And anyway, since then, I've had, um, I get these terrible reactions to anything that I take from chemists, start to get like hives and stuff. So it sent me down the road of looking for alternative therapies every time there's something wrong with me which isn't often by the way but I've never had an injection since then I've traveled all the way through Central and South America never had any problems I've traveled well in total I've traveled to 58 countries since I've left the army never had any problems at all so I certainly won't be having these um, vaccinations that Bill Gates is um, brewing up What's annoying me is that 30 years ago, when Tony Blair and George Bush were scaring the shit out of people in the UK, telling us all that Saddam Hussein can attack us within 45 minutes. And he had these, you know, biological warfare capabilities where he could poison the water supply, you know, etc., etc. 30 years ago, on the first Gulf invasion, because it was an invasion, all that was based on total bullshit. And, you know, millions of people have died and are still dying to this day because of those lies that Blair told us. So it infuriates me, really. And, you know, there's so much evidence out there now in the arena. Well, obviously not on mainstream, but if you look for it, it's not difficult to find experts in virology and epidemiology. You know, people with like, you know, decades of experience, professionals, were telling us that, you know, seasonal flu is far more dangerous than this so-called COVID-19. And again, um, what annoys me is that if, if there is any genuine terrorist attack on NATO countries, then the media uses those events to um, push their agenda further so they can go and in, invade these other countries. So if it is true, if it was the fault of China, uh, where this COVID-19 generated, then why aren't they doing anything about that? I know they couldn't anyway because China's too big and they've got too much uh, financial leverage as well. But we're living in strange times and the only good thing I'm seeing from this now is that when I was... Um, First tried to tell my friends and family that this was all propaganda just because of the 
the sheer volume of um, COVID and, you know, scaremongering. It was unreal. Every channel you turned over to, over to was COVID-19, COVID-19. And I knew it was propaganda straight away. And I was telling people that. And they were saying, oh, no, you know, don't be stupid. The BBC wouldn't lie and stuff like that. And that, that made me laugh. But um, now a lot of these people are coming back round. Um, you know, I encourage people to listen to you. I first came across you on the David Icke show, which I've been listening to for years. Sorry, not David Icke, um, Richie Allen. And I encourage, you know, all your viewers to listen to him as well because he's one of the very few genuine journalists out there. Anyway, good luck, Anna, and um, keep going. You're doing a brilliant job. Thanks.